Well, hi everybody and welcome back. This parcel was actually ordered before the last order that I received and filmed one of the the last order that I video that I did was two orders in one. This was actually ordered before one of them. So this one's a little bit delayed. Uh, in fact, this one, if it hadn't arrived today, I was going to be due a five dollar credit from Timu. So, but I'd much rather the sorry, that's going to keep bumping. That isn't it. Uh, I would much rather the parcel than the five dollar credit. Uh, because I think I have, I've actually printed out a list of everything um, that I have and I've got it all on a little wall thing here rather than, why is this shaking? I'm not even moving it. Stupid. Okay. So, I think this one's an expensive one. But it's uh, not that many things. Some of the items in there are more expensive than, than others. So I'm just going to I thought so I put this going to keep shaking. I put a whole heap of these fake flowers in my cart because I had this great idea. And then I changed my mind and I thought I took them all back out of the cart, but I didn't, I left one in there. So I have one, uh, it's called Artificial Bouquet Flower 298. So it's probably gonna look a little bit sad on its own, but I was gonna do, that's actually really pretty. I really like that blue color. I don't know what kind of flowers these are other than pretty. They're pretty flowers. So that's just one bouquet. Um, and I think my plan was to get like a whole heap of different ones and just one really big jar, jar, vase. Um, but yeah, just one for 2 98 that I forgot to take out of the cart. Uh, so I'll put that aside and I might decide to go down that avenue again of having the fake flowers. So. I'm going to rubbish on that side, items on that side. So, next is, uh, this is another kitchen item for my husband. He does a lot of, when he does cooking, uh, he does a lot of, uh, like he does batch cooking. So he'll make five times the amount of food and then he will freeze four or five meals. So these sit on the kitchen counter. You put the bags, like the, the freeze bags, inside here and you clip them and it holds the clip bag thing open while you fill it. Amazing. What he also does is he makes uh, our dog food not all the time, just occasionally he'll get some uh, mince and then he'll just add, he'll cook it up with the vegetables and the rice and and all of that jazz and he will uh, make up the little bags for the dogs. And then he freezes them and then they get all excited and then they get something different than canned food. So, but you know, they're quite happy with the canned food. Good quality canned food, fine. Oh, sorry, those were two pack bag holder for kitchen bags, 347. Um, okay, let's see what is next. I'm just gonna do it one more time and I'm cutting it off. I think it's because I've, the way I've got the cord set up for the ring light is balancing on a few different things yet if I move the ring light too much it just turns off so we'll see how long this lasts for this is it's one of those um, 
holders. I'm going to use this for uh, my hats, uh, caps. I've got some baseball caps. So that I think goes on there. And then it just becomes, you know, you do the whole and you stick it to the wall. Well, I don't know. Wrong, long transparent. So this one is wall adhesive hook, 89 cents. I've just got to figure out how this, oh, maybe, don't worry, you don't lick it. Don't lick it. It's germs. It's got adhesive. An idiot. Adhesive. Okay, so that's going to go on my wall. Like that. Baseball caps. Awesome. So, items on that side, packaging on that side. Making sure it doesn't move too much. Um, these, these are actually really weighty. These are corn holders. Two piece, four, four piece set corn holders. Does exactly what it says on the bag. $3.48. We, husband and I, love corn on the cob. Absolutely love it. Uh, we don't have these. Ooh, weapons. We don't have these. I love how they actually slide into each other. They've got the little thing on here and they actually just, you line them up and they slide in. That is awesome. That's really, really good quality. These have got some weight to them. I can't wait to have corn again next. They're awesome. They're going to be really handy in the kitchen. Okay, next up. Oh. All right, so these are for Caleb. They are... Minimalist woven bracelet by 15. They were 62 cents each. We're coming to the end of the things for Caleb. Um, I think. Yeah, I think we are. But these really are minimalist. I actually like these. Just the pull out, put on. Pull back in got three little doohickeys on there nice it's got the little doohickeys on the end so I got 15 of the um that's brown looks a little bit reddish but they're actually brown uh, so I got 15 of these and I got 15 black I think they were both 62 cents each sorry I didn't write down the totals um, this scissors. Oh my goodness. Oh guys. So a few months back we lost our old man, Mr. Peppercorn, who's our uh, Maltese let, let's our puppy. Well puppy. He was an old man. He was like 14. Um, absolute light of our lives. And we lost him. He wanted to go and join his brothers and his mum and dad over the lightning, over the rainbow bridge. And so he has got a lovely little um, resting place in our yard and he's at the very top of the yard and he looks out and down over the town and he's got amazing views of the mountains and he's just so loved and he's got his little his little plots marked out and I got one of these I'll hold it against here it goes that way so it's a little grave marker and it says uh, forever in our hearts 
and it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, which is awesome. And the quality, this is phenomenal. This is really, really well made. And this is... Memorial Grave Marker. This was $8.88. And this is going to look perfect, absolutely perfect, at the top of Mr. Peppercorn's resting place. Because he is forever in our hearts. I love that. I absolutely love that. So I will go and put that out there a little bit later. Oh, goodness. Okay, this is a magic broom, multifunctional, $7.07. We have carpet in our main areas, like living areas, but then like the scullery and the kitchen and the bathroom, the laundry, the toilet, that's all at Lino. And I am lazy. Like, we've got a broom, we've got all that. But this, I, I think, and this, sorry, this extends up and down. Does it extend more than once? No, just the once. But that's okay. I only need it to extend once. And then you screw it back in place. And this uh, helps to scoop up everything like a broom, a broom, but it gets into the tighter spots. And I think, if I remember correctly, it also works on the carpet to scoop up like dog hair. Thankfully, <clears throat> my dogs don't lose a lot of hair unless uh, they're getting a, a touch up, getting a trim. In which case, hair everywhere. So this is going to come in really, really handy, I hope. And I think you can use it wet or dry. And the fact that it just folds down to nothing it's phenomenal and that's just going to go straight into the scullery it's got the little hook on the end it's just going to go on a hook straight into the scullery and awesome brilliant eight dollars and what did i say seven dollars and seven cents best okay i'm trying to think i think a lot of the things in here are going to be a lot of the things in the bottom are just going to be the bracelets, minimalist woven bracelets for Kaylin, because I did get quite a few small things. But these, however, are <clears throat> two-piece curtain rod brackets, no nail, and I got two packs of two, and they were $1.68 each. So I believe they are adhesive adhesive they are I'm not going to undo it but yes they are adhesive and you flip that up so you stick it to the wall you flip that up stick that on the wall then you slot your curtain rod through there and then close it up and it holds it in place we have not um, decided on the final layout of our house yet and how we want it to look and how we want it to decorate and things like that but in the meantime, until we decide that, I don't want to live in just, ugh. So I'm going to get little things like this that aren't going to break the bank, but it's going to allow me to just change things up a little bit, temporarily make it more livable uh, and pretty. So I got um, curtains, sheer curtains uh, from Spotlight or Kmart or somewhere. And it's purely for the bathroom and the kitchen. So the, the curtains I got are full length ones. So I'm going to have to cut them because they only need to be um, yay long. So yeah, I got these. Kitchen, bathroom. Awesome. Two packs of those. And they're going to be brilliant. Right. Let me have a look. This. Oh my goodness. These were so cute. These are, you know, you get some things that are wants, there's some things that are needs, and there's just some things that are 
no excuse, no reason for it. That's what these are. These are crown tire valve four packs. They're the little valves that go on your tire of your car or your bike or whatever. Because you know how they come with those little, just those tubular plastic things? And they can be a real bugger to get, get a grip on. Oh. I'm now just realizing that I should have got four packs of four, shouldn't I? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Duh. I was thinking of wheel nuts. I'm thinking I'm going to have to get more. No, Jane, they have one of these per tire. Ignore that. God, I'm an idiot sometimes. Anyway, this completely frivolous purchase, four pack of crown tire valve stoppers, $2.98. And I have a feeling that when I have them on the car that I'm going to feel like, you know, in that scene in Greece where they're driving the cars and they're having that race and one of them has got that sharp claw thing that comes out of their wheels and it tears away at the other car. That's what this is going to be like. Don't come near me when I'm driving. Okay. This small blue I got these because I am a little bit sick and tired at work. We have small rubbish bins at work and the the plastic bags we have to go into the rubbish bins are bigger than the bins themselves. And so what I've always done with rubbish bags is I put them in and then I pull them and I twist it to make it smaller and then I tuck it on the inside so that when it comes to emptying it, you just have to untuck it and it's all there. I'm going to say there's other people at work, but I think it's just one person. There's people at work who pull it and then tie it in the tightest knot to keep it in place. So that when it comes time to change the bag, you can't retie it because it's been tied. Anyway, anyway, these little things, uh, I put the bag in and then I put these on either side of the bin and it holds the bag in place. Not holding out much hope because when I, after I ordered these, I actually found some bulldog clips and put two of those on the bins at work. And I came back the next day and this person had taken them off and tied a knot in the bin. Anyway, two piece plastic bin holder, 98 cents. Wish me luck. I'm gonna change the pattern at work. No more tying bin bags. Right. Ooh. What else do we have? Okay. I think I said it in the last video, maybe even the video before it as well. I have a pellet heater. Love it. Best thing. But it's messy sometimes. Like when I'm... Uh, I've got a little brush and I'm cleaning it out, which I've just done. Which is why I've probably still got... Oh. I must have done a better job than I thought of cleaning my hands. But I had ash and dust and everything all over my um I got this how cute is this this is minimalist dustpan and brush two dollars and 58 cents so this is literally around the lip of the um pellet heater uh, I usually just scatter it with a, like, I, I'll try and get it into one little area. But we don't have consistent, like, we have a dustpan. And I'm, I'm, I'd, I'd show it to you, but I'm so embarrassed. It's been trodden on. It's a plastic one. It's been trodden on that many times. It's got a big hole here. Big hole here. Husband still used it for months. 
I have got classy and I've taken that dustpan and I've lined it with sticky tape on both sides. So it's not sticky, but it's not a hole there anymore either. I can throw that away now because I have this magicness. It's got a, I'm going to get a little hook. Maybe I'll get one of those little magnetic hooks that it'll go on the side of the pellet heater. Oh, it might melt then. Oh, that's a cute little face on the back. Uh, what did I say that was? $2.58. Best. And if I hadn't just cleaned it out and tied it up after it with the vacuum cleaner, I would test this out now. But I've just lit the fire for the night, for the day. It's 3 o'clock. It won't be getting turned off again until tomorrow morning when I go to work. So, uh, I have some more of these, which are, again, for the pellet heater. They are the inserts, the stainless steel inserts. I've had them before. I've had them before. I thought, I honestly thought that having this printed out would be so much easier. Mesh sheets. I've got two different sizes. So I've got two of this size and two that were, I think, a little bit bigger. I think these are $1.34 and the other ones are going to be $1.79. And I've got two of each. So, and I, I think that every time I place an order with Timu from now on, I'm just going to throw a couple of these in there. Um, the one that I put in there, it would have been last Wednesday, maybe, is when I made the last video. Uh, I had to change it out today because it had a big hole in it. And now I've just had a weekend, so that fire has been going almost non-stop. And I put it on every night and it has got um, a hole in it. I think I was able to turn it around uh, and so it was burning in a different spot. So I did extend it. But if these only last a week in there, until we find where we can get a new burn pot, these are going to be perfect. And like I said, I'm going to reorder some of them every single time. Right. This, <laughs> this is for husband. Two-pack mini sauce squeeze bottle. Does exactly what it says on the bag. Stop it. Okay. And I've got these for husband because he likes, when he has things like um, dim sings or spring rolls or anything like that, he has extra dipping sauce or extra sauce and that on his. So while these come with these cute little labels of tomato sauce and honey mustard, tomato ketchup, sorry, and tasty honey mustard, I just heard the diesel train tooting its little horn. I wonder what he's doing, seeing as we have no trains at the moment. These are going to be cute. He can load these up with his soy sauce and his um, sweet chili sauce and amazing. He's going to love it. He is just going to go nuts over that. Um, but I don't think we're going to use those because we just use normal tomato ketchup. Actually, what talking about tomato ketchup, does anybody who has restless leg syndrome, I get that really, really badly. Does anybody notice that if they have I've, I thought it was all red foods, but it's not. There's something in Rosella tomato sauce, I think that's only an Australian brand, that kicks off my restless leg, something fierce, and it is the best tasting tomato sauce in the whole world. And I haven't been able to have it for weeks because, actually, you know what, I get restless legs so badly at the moment anyway for whatever reason. I might as well just have the tomato sauce and enjoy my life. Okay. Okay, so these are some more of Kayla's, the bracelet. So again, the brown, I didn't get black. How cute's that? I got a blue. I'm going to take that out to get a better look at it. So these are 15 of them, 62 cents. So it's like a royal blue. That's really nice. Wow, that is awesome. He is starting to get so excited now for his birthday. But, I mean, he's been talking about his happy birthday for... He's probably been talking about his 21st happy birthday since we celebrated his 18th happy birthday. Because he knew that after all the excitement of the 18th, 
the next big one that he gets to celebrate and have people come and celebrate him is going to be 21. So he's been talking about that nonstop since then. So I think that there's going to be more of these all through the bottom. That is the other part of my two-pack of curtain rod brackets for $1.68. Those are either the kitchen or the bathroom. I got another ring. Again, they're going to say it's something like zircon or it is yeah black zircon pattern ring 298 no no this is my lady diana why is that not focusing anyway lady diana that is fierce that is sapphires there's some weight to that as well i'm not even messing that's quite heavy that's quite heavy no diamonds. Oh, there is. There is. There's little diamonds down the sides. Yeah. Zircon. Gammon. That's my engagement ring for the day. Sorry. What did I say that one was? Two ninety eight. Yeah, two ninety eight. And for anybody keeping tabs, this is order number seven, but some of them have come. Um. In, in two, like the, the last order that I did, the big double one, that was order number six and eight. So seven's what I've been waiting on. To be honest, nine's what I'm really waiting on. And I was hoping that would arrive today because it's got the items for my not your average Mexican party tomorrow and it will arrive after the party's finished. But whatever, I'm sure they'll have other Mexican nights. Okay. So I'm just going to grab a big handful and see what we've got here. We've got more of the stainless steel and then these are all Caleb's bracelets. Right. Not all. Just these things here at the top. Right. Seven piece set comb cleaning kit. Not going to lie. I thought these were going to be a little bit bigger. But... This was to get into the little tiny nooks and crannies in the pellet heater. There. I knew I hadn't scrubbed well enough. Shame. That's from cleaning the pellet heater. So, yeah. These are a set of seven brushes. $1.48. And I presume I could use them as well. I could take one of them to work and I could use it to clean out my keyboard at work. Possibilities endless. Like I said, thought they'd be a little bit bigger, but they're probably going to work out to be the perfect size. So, yay. Happy with that. More of Caleb's bracelets. Another stainless steel. Another. Bracelet. Hold up. Another brush, I think. What I did was I found like a brush that I wanted for the pellet heater and then added it to the cart and thought, this is great. This is awesome. Oh, that's actually really nice and spiky. I thought they were coming out. They're not. They're just a little bit longer. Um, again, for cleaning out the pellet heater, this is going to be really good for the back of the pellet heater where the actual um, soot and everything is. And it's really good. You can hold on to it here. And you can really get in there. So that's awesome. This is, a, a, it's actually a door and window groove cleaner. So this is actually supposed to be to clean the in-between of where your door and window jams are. But that's not what I got it for. I got it for the pellet heater to clean up the back of the pellet heater. Uh, yeah, door, window, groove, cleaner, 167. This is the cleaning hall, this one. This is the Caleb and the cleaning hall. This, this is a five piece set, silicon finger guards, 98 cents. Again, the husband. I could create a whole video just of the screenshots of the photos that my husband has sent to me where he has cut himself or burnt himself or done something while he's prepping food. 
I presume these are on the right way, but you hold the food as you're cutting them and or when you're grating, maybe when you're grating foods as well. So there's a pack of five, you have them on each, like on your hand. And maybe when you're grating uh, cheese and that on a grater, it stops you from grating your hand. These are gonna be great. See what I did there? Okay, so 98 cents. And you know what? If it just saves me one hospital visit with that man, money well spent. This, oh, hollow cat claw spoon. This is stainless steel hollow cat claw spoon, $1.68. Okay. Oh my goodness, people. People, stop. It's got a little cat claw. I think I was actually hoping it was going to be a little bit longer because what I was envisaging using it for is um, when I feed the dogs and they're getting fed from the tins of food, uh, like I, I pull out half of it, put it in one of the bowls and then scrape out the other half and put it in the other bowl. So I was hoping that it was going to be a little bit longer so it would allow me to get to the bottom of the cans, tins, but you know what? I'm going to use that for something because the cuteness factor is just out of this world. What did I say? Dollar sixty-eight. I like that. That's cute. Maybe I can give them their treats to them, like one at a time. Scoop out one little biscuit and see if they'd eat it off that. They wouldn't. They would just knock me to the floor and eat the stuff straight out of my hands. Right. Oh, this has got some weight to it. You're gonna know what it is just from looking at it because they're on everybody else's hauls. This is. Can bottle jar opener, three dollars and forty-eight cents. That's just one of those, huh? I don't need my husband to open cans and that for me anymore. I've got this now, so it goes over the bigger ones, goes over the medium ones, and goes over the small ones. Hold it there. Actually, I might even get one of these for my mum, who is. Uh, she is, gosh, what is mum now? 86? I think she's 86. Fiercely independent. And thinks she can still do, and she still can do a lot of things on her own. Uh, but she's not as strong as she used to be. So I might get her one of these. I might invest $3.48, or I might wait and see if I can get it on the lightning deal. Although a lot of these are already on the lightning deals. Um... Yeah, and then I might just get a like a magnet hook and then put that on the fridge. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, now, digging out the rest of these. And what we have is the rest of Caleb's bracelets. And that's the bigger stainless steel thing. So that's going to be the one that is... No, um, sorry, that was my sister. This is going to be the one that's 179. So that's all those. Now you'll be thinking, Jane, you said that this was an expensive one. What are you talking about? They were all cheap as chips. They were all cheap as chips, um, even though they're worth more than cheap as chips. Two more items and these are the exy ones I'm, I'm jealous of the people and now i know exchange rates and all that but people who haul these ones and you're going to know what it is when I, as soon as i open it up but like they hold them up and they go i got this for like 12 dollars and i have to remember exchange rates and the you know money transfer and things like that so i got one of the stanley cup dupes Hoping, oh, I was hoping it was going to come with a straw, and it did. Oh, rubbish on that side. There's a girl at work, Katie Q, and she has one of these, and she's got it in a gorgeous, I think it's a, a greeny colour, 
and it makes her drink so much water having it on her desk it really motivates her to drink the water so i got one i got white because i wanted to in my last video you remember i got the vinyl sticker and i said i had something i wanted to put it on that's what i want to put it on uh, and then also i want to get a sticker from etsy i want to get it made up so i might go on to there this afternoon and order my vinyl sticker my personalized one in the meantime, so yeah, you guys in America, very lucky, hold them up and you go $12. I got this for $12. $20.58, which really, bargain. When uh, Katie Q told me how much she paid for hers, I'm like, okay. I mean, they're cute and they're good. And if they make me drink water, fantastic. But I've said it before, I'm working poor. Like, I'm not working. I am. I'm working poor. I don't have a huge disposable income. I'm very blessed in that I have my house and I've, the dogs and me, we've always got something to eat in the house. I don't have to worry. There's always clothes on my back and I have a great job to go to. But I don't have a huge money left over. Is what I mean to buy excessive treats with I would rather save that money up and go to see my family on holidays and things like that so if I can save $30 you know I'm gonna do it but I'm gonna reinvest that money to go and visit my family now the very last thing was if this turns the light off I'm gonna get so mad is actually what was in the bag so they packed everything in the bag and you all know what it is. You all know what it is. Because everybody's got them. These bigger beach bags. Big ass beach bag. My goodness, the cuteness overload, people. I don't know how this works. I think these come off, don't they? I think when other people have got them, sorry, there was a big echo in there. When other people have got them, they've had to put these on themselves, so these must come off. Or maybe I can... Oh, or I can just twist it. Honestly, if I would just stop and think about my behavior before I actually open my mouth. Look at that. It's bigger than my head. And that's just gonna be awesome. When we go to the beach with the dogs, the beach, we've got a beach in the next town over, about an hour's drive away. Um, yeah, I can put their towels in here. I can carry mine and husband's shoes so we can walk barefoot. Uh, we can take a little snacky snack. We can take our picnics, their leads, everything inside here. Some water bowls, some poo bags, because I'm a responsible pet owner. That is phenomenal. I am terrified to tell you guys how much I spent for this, because I don't know how much these are normally. Okay, so this was $55, but I've gone on and had a look and because this has come down in price I'm actually due an $11 um, price adjustment on this order so really it was only 45 and everything I purchased is now going to go back inside of here this would actually be an awesome Christmas present and then at the, after everyone's opened their Christmas presents they load up all of their things inside here. Don't tell my sister and don't tell my mum because that might be what they're going to get for Christmas. My sister would love this. I think this would actually be so heavy it might knock my mum sideways. Little tiny waif of a thing that she is. That was jealousy in my voice, by the way. Okay, that was it. That was my haul. Um, yeah, so I think that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 23 items 
but some of them were more than one of, like the curtain rods and things like that. More than happy with that. This next order tomorrow, like let me just show you, this was today's order. Hopefully tomorrow, put the kettle on now guys, because when that order comes in, we might have to split that over two days. Um, don't want to stick to my wall. That's going to be awesome. Tomorrow is what I was really hoping was going to arrive today, but it's not. And that's okay. I got a parcel today and I'm so blessed that it arrived and that I got to share it with you guys. And there are some amazing things in there. And I can, I can start getting Caleb's box ready to send everything to him so that Sissy can then start putting her... Um, jars together for his birthday in October so thanks for hanging around when I have oh I think in the last video I said that when I made up my clip-on earrings I would show you I made up one of my clip-on earrings hang on one second and it's these ones I got these ones and I made these ones into I just broke the stem off the back I think I'm getting a cold. Shit, don't talk boss. Okay, and then a bit of super glue on the back with the um, clip on earring part. And then three, two, one, presto, pirate. What do you think? Oh, I think no, it's just got to sit up a little bit higher. It's so weird. I wish I was more comfortable wearing jewelry. I wish I was as, as comfortable wearing this kind of jewellery as I am, am wearing this kind of jewellery. The other one, my uh, main engagement ring. This one. I wore this all day the other day at work. And every time somebody new came in, I'd be like this at the front counter. Look at my ring, look at my ring. Um, yeah. I like it. It's the perfect size. I'm a size eight. That's hurting my ear. Uh, I think what I'm going to do with the next lot is uh, the the plastic backing that was on the st on the stem on the stud part. Uh, I cut the stem part off it, and I'm going to super glue it to here, so that it gives it something to grip on the back side of my ear. Because uh, I just, I, I feel that this isn't going to hold. So, yeah. So I've got those. I'm going to make them up. Now, because my uh, sombrero earrings did not arrive in time for my Mexican party. These aren't Mexican theme. I know that. But they're colourful. I like them and it's a party. So I'm probably going to end up wearing these tomorrow. And then when I get home from said party, hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood, my other parcel might be here. And I will show you what's in that one. In the meantime, have a fantastic day. Thank you for joining me for this Timu haul. And I look forward to the next one. Bye.